Hi, welcome back. Here's an update on the game. It's pretty much finished, which is great news. So let me show you the last minute testing and, and tweaks that I've done. If we compile it up, and I'll show you. It has been a mission. Right, we'll go straight into the entrance level here. Okay. I've added a void space in there. Uh, I'll come on to these question marks in a minute. But if I go into the void, so it tells me I fall into the void. I'll just move this over to the left a little bit. And the gods have laughed at me. Um, but I have the opportunity to beg and the gods have accepted, which is cool. Now, what happens now is it uh, uh, fast winds to, it resets the level you're on. But uh, I've got cheats enabled. So let me uh, add some gold and a whole load of X, XP. Okay, if I do that again, during a, uh, a session, the game, uh, the gods may or may not reincarnate me. The more times you do it, the less chance you've got of actually being reincarnated. Let's try it again. The gods have accepted as well, which is good. So I start the level again. But this time, uh, they've taken a load of experience away and nicked all my gold. So you, there is a penalty for, for doing it. <laughs> but anyway, so there have to be some penalties. If I do some more cheating and add a load more keys, these question marks are actually chests. So you can open them up now. So as it opens up, open up the chest. In this case, there's some gold. In this one, there was nothing. In that one, there was nothing. In that one, there was a trap. Sometimes, obviously, you don't want to do that. Uh, sometimes when you trigger it, um, the chest themselves can be booby-trapped. So you have to be a bit careful. And obviously, all chests will, will use a key. The other change that I've made, which actually during testing was, um, it became a little bit annoying, is, is that... On this level, there's a whole load of NPCs. You can't see them. They're currently invisible. But we can change that now. There's another parameter here that says for testing and debugging called show NPCs. So when I run it again, the NPCs are then visible across the map, even when they're uh, behind you know, the other side of the screen. So let's open that up. Okay, so now you can see them, all right, which is cool. Um, should we just sit, check the other one? Yeah, okay, so as I'm moving around, you can see that all of the NPCs are moving and they're converging on my position, if they can, depending on whether they're against walls or whatever, yeah? Which is great, and that's how it was originally. But as you can see, what happens is, as, as you're moving around more and more and more, if I just move around randomly, um, they, uh, you end up with these areas where there's no NPCs at all. Uh, they become empty. So as you're fighting a whole horde of creatures, you then in the, on an empty level, which is a bit rubbish. So what I've done is there's actually a parameter there called NPC range. If I just do that, if I enable this, this is just a switch, then it uses these settings here. So there's NPC range set there, which is an integer value. Um, numeric value and uh, and then what it does is if the NPCs are too far away they won't move at all so that means from a level playing perspective they only do stuff when they are just outside of a of, of visual range but if they're further out than six then they don't move at all right so as I'm moving around you'll see the ones down there, they're starting to move around a little bit because I'm getting close. These ones are moving towards me. But the other ones are staying where, the, where they are, which is much better. So as you're playing the level, uh, you end up with fewer and fewer spaces where there, there, was, there are no NPCs at all, um, which ended up getting a little bit sad, uh, a little bit lonely. So anyway, so those are the two main changes. Um, thanks to one of, one of my viewers for uh, talking about and, and kind of arguing for the, the gods reincarnation screen. At the moment, it's only for voids. I was wondering whether I should add that in also when you when you just die normally, but so far, I'm not gonna do that. Right, so that's that bit. Um, we've got all these, all these settings and whatever, so for future changes, you might wanna do all sorts of things to, to modify it. I've also beefed up the creatures a little bit. They're a little bit tougher, um, setting up the attack and defense and whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to show you too much of the detail on that. Right, so that's good. Playtesting is complete. 
so you can play it all the way through and that's that's good and i've been tweaking the level designs and, and making it a bit more challenging um there are a few levels that are really annoyingly difficult um mainly because of, of voids and um and some of them just a sheer number of, of npcs uh and for some of them lack of food as you get further and further there are opportunities to pick up food and with the chest bit um then obviously you know there's uh, there's scope of picking up a lot more stuff the other the other small change i should just mention is let's just put a random door there here's a bit random so you can pile that up again so i've got no keys now i could cheat or i could hit, keep hacking away at the door and eventually the door will get will give in but it does do me damage so as as i'm doing it well that's a there we go eventually that gives way that's actually quite a stubborn door but most of them give away are give way after three or four goes it's, it's random um but it means that if you're on a level which you, apparently you're stuck you haven't got any keys you can still progress um you may have used your keys to open a, open a chest if i go down here i can't open that chest there's no way that just won't open because it's a chest anyway so there we go that is where we're at so far and here's the box the box is ready to rock so what i've what done the original printout was was obviously color um but that's a, a a4 size so there's a massive gap there so this is actually printed on a3 it's black and white to make it cheaper so i can do the sizing properly but there is actually a gap between that side and that side so i've ex extended that a little bit so tomorrow the idea is i'm going to get these printed off in in color so it kind of look like that which is which is cool inside there'll be the floppy disk and the uh the manual uh the story and the uh machine specific instruction card so these are all you know there's, there's not much in the, in the way of detail there but there's, there's a little bit going on and there's a little bit to the to the story as well so when you when you buy it hopefully when you buy it uh it will come with that stuff included obviously the floppy disk is only a sample and um, that's going to look a lot nicer but uh yeah so hopefully in the next couple of days that should be ready to, to to go on sale on ebay so there we go after ebay uh then we're probably looking at etsy um but ebay initially because it's, it's sort of easy to, to to set up yeah watch this space see you next time cheers <laughs>